While we can't celebrate face to face this year, we can still toast to boast. Tune in and remind your friends to do the same. Learn more about boast. Take a look at where we are on our goal for the evening. Bid on auction items. Make a donation and chat with us. We're still here for all the fun. Last year has been one like we have never seen. Grape Escapes looks just a little bit different this year, but our purpose is still the same, raising as much as possible to meet the unfunded needs of Boast. And while there's still a lot of uncertainty in the world, the critical services and supports to individuals with disabilities and their families we provide have not diminished. In fact, we continue to grow. Our community still needs us and we still need you. I've known Andy for almost two, it'll be two years in June. There's an adult moment with Andy, I mean, to be honest. Um, it's probably more of him tolerating me than uh, me doing really anything for him. Um, I guess Bose has kind of been a second family for us, somebody that we can depend on and trust on. It's a great agency, it puts the people first. I'm really passionate about the, the people that we serve, so. We serve 28 counties, we serve a thousand people. People don't even realize that we are that far reaching, that we help that many people on a regular basis. It's just, it's amazing and I love being a part of it. I guess Bose has kind of been a second family for us, somebody that we can depend on and trust on to take care of our little ones. Sorry, I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> Logan is two and a half now. We noticed when she was about six months old that she was not doing things like the other babies in her daycare class were. We went to Children's Hospital and got the diagnosis of cerebral palsy. And with her, I mean, balance is one of her biggest issues, so she can't just jump up and run after her brother. So we've gotta be there to hold her hand when she wants to jump up and run. We, of course, wanna be there all the time, but every now and then you need a little bit of help, and that's what Boast has been there for. Even just when walking in the front door, smiling, greeting faces from not only the kids, but the employees as well, and, and staff, and. I just got a real comfortable feeling walking in there. Just, I just felt like Logan would be taken care of. I've been with Joel for 12 years. It's a 24-hour job. Um, I actually live with him. We do everything together. We go bowling twice a week, go swimming. He's just really active. I've done all aspects of Boast. I've done coordination, I've done case management. This is by far the, the best, uh, doing the one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a job that I thought I was gonna do forever. After meeting Joel and learning his, his story, I just stuck with it. So maybe in 10 years, I'll, I'll still be doing direct care. It's just a really good experience to help people grow. Um, 
go basketball games. Yeah. All the Razorback yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a Razorback game, Andy's there. I mean. Mall. Oh, and he likes to go to the uh, mall in uh, Fayetteville. The job's fulfilling at the end of the day. I've, my mom's a nurse, and so I've watched her over the years take care of people and how it makes her feel good to do that. We love both. My husband uh, and I are the, in our 80s now, and uh, we had the feelings of really good because Andy's in good hands. Not everybody has, you know, a whole group of people looking out for them. It, it a lot of times comes down to us, and 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 we are the people that are their family, and, and we take care of them on holidays, and we take care of their doctor appointments. I, I absolutely see my future here at Boast, and and I see the team that's here. That I think there's some continued longevity and and people that care so much. We have to let people know that you know, yes, this today we're fine, but the funding may not always be there. Things are changing all the time so it's really important that we let people know that you know what we do makes a difference and every single day we, we look for the best ways to to be fiscally responsible to raise money to help people do what they need to do in our community every single day unless you unless you know somebody that has a disability you don't really know about those the the awareness isn't there so it's really important I think that we let people know if it wasn't for Bose, they would be at home by themselves. They wouldn't have adequate care. They wouldn't have access to um, doctors because a lot of their staff take care of their doctor's appointments. We put so much of ourselves in into this job. You know, it's not just something you come and do from nine to five. You, you live it, you breathe it. We don't deal with products. We deal with people and their everyday lives. I am Boast. I am Boast. I am Boast. We are Boast. I am Boast. I am Boast. Boast is more than just, you know, a, a building. It's more than just a series of buildings or a corporation name. The pride that you could see on their face when, when something came down their line and they had to do their part. And, and the, it just, it started from here and to, to here and everybody was having a great time working out there. At Boast, we, we take care of human beings every single day. We make sure that those individuals have the best chance to be as independent as they possibly can. It's about knowing what we do so that we make sure people are taken care of. It's about referring employees. It's about potentially employing um, the individuals that we serve. There really is no other place in this area for this to happen. Boast has my heart and, always, and, and it always will. I mean, even though, you know, I may not ever, I may not always be in the position that I'm in right now, I can't imagine not being at Boast, not helping Boast in some way. There's everything from work to housing. And like when I, I go back again to work, that's for the guys that we serve, plus sending employees to us um, is really important as well. You know, we serve so many people in so many different ways and it's really dependent on what that individual needs. So. You you know, one person can't be all to that one person, so it does take an army, it takes a village. Whatever the euphemism is, that's what it takes. It takes so much for most to be able to do what they do every day. Without them, there'd be nothing. You, uh, who, where would you, you would have to send them out of state or, or send family members out of state and, and then, then other family members, how does that, they'd have to go, you know, travel. 
when it's right here, it's just all one big happy family. Seeing how it impacts people with disabilities, it, it means a lot, especially around here. To see that your daily work actually does something, to see that it matters to somebody, it, it's just huge. Where would you go? Where would these, where would families, you know, go for this? The relationships of, um, again, from, you know, children and adults and families that are served, to the employees, to the boards, to our community. Come and see what all we do because you, your child may be in our day treatment services as, as an infant, but we also serve people that are 70 or 80 years old. Once you get to boast and see what it does, that's the end. You won't have to go any farther. And I think a lot of people have done that over the years. Hi, I'm Katie Rains. I'm the Executive Director at BOAST. It is an honor to get to be the Executive Director at BOAST and to help fulfill the mission that is done each day by many, many people. I'd like to tell you just a little bit about why I am in this field and why I chose BOAST. So first off, I have a brother that's autistic. Dean is older than I am, and so for me, it's always been a world of disabilities. I will say that when I was younger, my comfort level was nothing like it is today. If you'd asked my parents if they thought this is what I would be doing, they would probably say no, or maybe I would have said no to it. But here I am, and I am so glad that this is the career path that I chose. When you get to help people each day, there is something to that, to have a purpose when you go into work. Um, my dad told me a long time ago that if you draw a paycheck and you get to help people, wow, that's really, really an amazing thing. And then to come to work for an agency like Boast, this wasn't really in the plans, but at that point I was working, I was helping people, and then along the way things evolved and I became the executive director. What Boast has is a lot different than what you see um, with a lot of other agencies. There is a community support. We have a partnership within our community. We have a partnership with our families, with the clients that we serve, both children and adults, and their families, the direct care staff that work at BOAST. They are the heroes, especially in a time of a pandemic. When you think about our management staff up to our executive team, they have a knowledge base that is unbelievable. The years of, of service that they have all given as well as a lot of them, like myself, have a personal story, which really does make it a lot different when you have a personal story. When you think about a board of directors, really, the board of directors at Boast is amazing. They have so much background through all walks of life to where they give us more information to help us to be a better program. And for you, the community, we really could not do it without you. It's not always just about the donations that are sent. It's about you watching out for our guys as well as us that are paid to watch out for them. It's about referrals for employees. It's about the employment for our guys. And again, it's just overall about taking care of people. Thank you for being a part of BOAST and we look forward to continued years to working within this community to fulfill the mission at BOAST changes in regulations every day, every day. The Department of Health or the CDC send out new guidelines, so it's, it's a constant change. There have been a lot of changes, not just within the organization, but within just the, the field in general. You know, we've, we've gone through all kinds of things. We're fortunate that um, the state has been good in, in trying to switch around some funding, but as it continues to go on longer, those funding mechanisms are not there as long. It's been really difficult to um, kind of wrap our heads around the best way to move forward with this event and, and still serve BOAST and keep everybody safe. If anybody said to me, what's the number one? Well, it's trying to keep people working. They're leaving their homes where they're safe or trying to stay safe or to keep their families safe. And then they come to work for us. 
when I first started at Boast, we were, you know, maybe three or four hundred people we were serving and now we serve nearly a thousand every single day. We still give those individuals that affordable um, rent so that they can live in the community and that's a supplement that Boast does, um, which is a large amount. Um, however, without that, um, you know, those individuals wouldn't have places that they could afford um, that were also, you know, nice to live in. Minimum wage, I, you know, controversial or not, it's still just something that does impact us. And honestly, the last time we did a study, we received 54% increases in minimum wage and we received about 9% increases in our funding sources. So when you talk about trying to run business like that, you really have to constantly look at your telephone bills, you know, your marketing, all the things that still are just as important but are, you know, well I shouldn't say as important, they're important, our, our guys are first. And so you're always looking at how can you cut over here so that you can still provide a real high quality of, of services over here. So that hits us really, really hard. We still are funded primarily through Medicaid, but it changed into a managed care system. And so it's a provider-led managed care system, which gives us, we get to be at the table a little bit more and try to talk through how systems should work, but it changed the way that we are reimbursed. We've taken a lot of steps to make sure that this is the right way to do it and to go forward so that we can continue raising money and we can continue you know, funding the stuff within BOAST that's not typically funded for, for whatever other reason. From the individuals that we serve to the people that we employ, just getting to know them, know their story, um, to try to light a fire under them to want to help people. I mean, a lot of times, I mean, I think I said it years ago when we met, a lot of times this is the only family that a lot of our guys know um, is, is Boast and Boast sets themselves apart as an agency in, in this state different than the majority of agencies out there and a lot of that is that community support that we have. <laughs>
Good evening. I'm Jeannie Hill, the Marketing and Fundraising Director for BOAST. We certainly appreciate you being here this evening with us. We realize that this is not exactly the way we want everything to be, but we hope that next year in 2022 you'll join us once again. I also wanted to say thank you to all the sponsors, donors, restaurants, wineries, everyone who normally participates. We certainly appreciate you and hope to see you again next year. Honestly, Grape Escape started very small. Um, somebody wanted a way to raise money for Boast and keep it here locally and involve some of the people that they knew. I've been to all the big events in Fort Smith at least once, and this is my favorite event. Well, actually, my uh, the, the first the first one I got to be involved with that was I think 2010, and really had no idea what it was. I just knew that it was a big gathering of distributors and and restaurants and all this stuff into one big huge room, and people came out to go to sample wine and to and to eat and do and then walk around and just do all this stuff. And it actually started out in somebody's house where people would show up with you know if they intended to bid on whatever the auction item was the escape for that evening they would show up with their stuff and they would leave immediately from the event to go on this trip so um, over the years of course it's evolved and we've done several different things in several different locations so i've been to this will probably be my 11th in a row i think i just wanted to be involved and, and help if i could and it turned out to be one of the funnest things I'd ever been involved with. I had friends that were on the board and so I talked to them and did a little research and you know told them hey you know I'd like to get on the board or be involved if, if I could. They reached out to me so I've been on the board now for four or five years. Every year uh, whoever was in charge of it I would call them and say you better let me do this. A time to, to dress up, mingle, see a bunch of people you know and but support a good cause. Try hundreds of wines, food from several restaurants around here. So eat and drink as much as you want and support a, you know, boast. Because there's a lot of people that would sample your product and see everything and, 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 you know, go out and buy your product the next day or sometime in the week, in the week after. This is our biggest fundraiser, our premier fundraiser. So we, you know, the money raised supports boast and it's local. So that's, that's the, I think it's very important that it's local. If you weren't a part of this, you were, you were begging to get in so you can be a part of this. Yes, come to Grape Escapes because that's just a big party that celebrates it all and helps to support it. And we'd love to see anybody come out there. It was just a great event to raise money for both. And, and I think that's one of the main reasons I, got, what I stay a part of it is because it's so fun, because it's well organized, and it's a great fundraiser for a great organization. I absolutely would feel confident telling anybody that invested in Boast that it was a good, good thing. And, that, and we could show them how it's a good thing. It's not just a dollar for a widget. It's you're given money to help these people to continue being independent and to continue being happy in their lives. And you can see that on their faces every time you walk into the, into the building. It's amazing. Have you decided what you want for the cake? Uh, not really. I'm getting there. I really want something simple. So square simple or round simple? Round, for sure. Two tiers. Okay. Flowers? No, three tiers. But no flowers. Maybe something geometric? Sounds like you've got it figured out. Just make sure it tastes good. Award-winning wedding cakes at an affordable price. Harps. Hometown Fresh.
I am boast. I am boast. I am boast. I am boast.